So from butterflies so far, most of my techniques have been from here in this tight butterfly where our feet are in between our partner's knees. Now we're going to play uh, with a little more distance. So now instead of our feet being here, they are here. We're kind of disrupting our opponent's base directly. Our posture is roughly the same, but I don't have to be as low um, necessarily because I'm, I'm further away. Now from here, we're going to, what's his uh, instinct here? Probably to grab our feet, okay? So once you grab your foot, that should be like a trigger to, for us to start what's called an arm drag. My right hand's gonna go here, okay? And my left foot is gonna go outside of his base here. Now, I'm gonna pull my butt to my heel as I pull his tricep across my body, okay? One more time here. Again, you can do the other side so you can see the other side here. So we're right here, I go to the far tricep. This goes outside his base. I pull here as I pull here. There we go, okay? Now, what we're trying to get to is this position on the side. So again, um, we're going to, he touches my ankle here. We go to the far side, boom. And then our goal is to get the outside hand to the far hip. Boom. I'm going to pull, make this wide, pull and pull with my heel. Now, left hand is going to his hip here. This is very important. If I don't have this, then he turns and it's more or less over. So I want to make sure that this stays here. My knee is, is in his butt, ideally something like this, but not a big deal. Here, my um, arm here, I'm still controlling the tricep, my chest is behind his arm, okay? Um, the way he gets out of this is by getting his elbow out, so I wanna prevent that from happening. So really keep your elbow or your body tight behind his shoulder here. Now, detail, my right foot is going over his calf here, and that is this position, that's the arm drag position that we wanna end in. So we're in our arm drag position, there's strong structures to disrupt his base, both preventing him from sitting and from um, widening his face here. I have the left hand on his hip and I have the right hand here that is controlling his um, armpit, his arm on this side. My chest is also very important here, making sure that it's tight to the body. Now, from here, we're going to um, get to back control. I wanna bring all of his weight towards me, okay? So I'm gonna to curl my arm until his elbow bends here. Now, I'm going to bring his base in so that he only has a knee on the side, not the foot. And now, I'm just going to take my left foot and scoop away from him. Okay, and there we go. He just plops right into our strong side back control. Only a 90 degree turn. I don't want to bring him over on this side, otherwise he's going to start escaping. So, he's 90 degrees to get on this side. Go one more time here so you can see it. So, arm drag position. Now, uh, let's turn just 90 degrees. Okay, so we're here. Now, I'm going to take this out. I turn my arm so that his elbow's on the ground. Now, all of his weight's on the right side. I'm just going to take this and scoot. He's going to turn 90 degrees, and then we end in what's called a strong side back control or an overhook side back control here. Okay, um, your feet can be on top in a body triangle or both be inside, whichever you prefer.